Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This will be my first video lecture on the course electromagnetic theory. Before jumping into uh, some more complex topics like gradient, divergence, curl, and Laplacian, I will first begin by studying the basics and the foundation for these concepts. Let us start by visualizing the three coordinate system. The first coordinate system is the Cartesian coordinate system. Let's, let us assume a point P in the space, uh, the XYZ plane. Uh, XYZ uh, uh, plane. In order to uh, in order to reach that point, we must uh, move in the X direction and the Y direction, then to the Z direction, the Z height. Let us assume some values, like for example, I move in the x direction two units, and maybe in the y direction four units, and the height which I uh, want to move uh, is well, let's say seven units. We can move to any point in the space just uh, by these three, uh, by the three uh, parameters: the x value, the y value, and the z value. The Cartesian plane, uh, the Cartesian coordinate system, is rather most uh, the simplest of all the three systems. Let us uh, understand the next uh, coordinate system, the cylindrical coordinate system. This is uh, this is the cylindrical coordinate system. In this system, in order to move in the space, you need uh, you need again the three parameters. To move in this space, you need three parameters. The first will be the radius of the cylinder which we call rho or you can write p the second parameter is the angle phi which will enable you to sweep the uh, the x y uh, the x y plane the angle phi or you can say phi and in order to uh, in order to gain altitude or height you need another parameter that is the z height the z value Z value. Let us better understand this uh, coordinate system by using a software. As you can see, th uh, this is a good uh, software to visualize this at uh, visualize the cylindrical coordinate system. Uh, we are given three parameters. The the first will be the radius, the angle, phi, and the z height to move uh, anywhere in the in the, in the space. And anywhere in the sp uh, space. Okay, let me demonstrate by varying these three parameters. First, we will vary the. Let me vary the angle phi. Angle phi. I can sweep the x y axis and move anywhere, anywhere I want, by just varying this angle. If I want to go inside, if I want to go inside, inside the uh, closer to the origin. I will vary the radius, which we call uh, in the cylindrical system the rho, the rho value, and by and I want to achieve the height. Uh, uh, and I want to achieve the height. Uh, we can vary the z value. We can vary the z value. As you can see, I can move anywhere in the uh, in the in this space by these three parameters: the angle uh, phi, which will enable me to sweep the x y axis. X, Y, X, and then the the radius, which will enable me to go inside and outside, or closer to the origin, or far away from the origin, and the final parameter, which is Z, to attain the height. Okay, let's move to the next uh, coordinate system. The next coordinate system will be the spherical coordinate system in this system yet again we need three parameters to move uh, in the space in, in in our space let us define a point p which requires the three parameters the first parameter will be the radius of cylinder this is the radius of the uh, sorry sphere the radius of the sphere and the second parameter will be phi which is uh, which is again the parameter uh, the parameters sweep the x y axis and and the last parameter is theta 
the last parameter is theta, which is the angle uh, angle which the radius makes with the z uh, the z axis. This is the this this is the angle theta. This is the angle phi, and the radius and the radius to to reach our, our destination, the point. This is the point P. I can move anywhere uh, within the boundaries of the sphere. And if I want to change the sphere, I can va uh, vary this radius and move inside or outside. Or, or I can move here just by varying this angle, this angle phi, and move up and down, up and down, by varying the angle theta. Again, in order to better, uh, better visualize this uh, system, I would need the help of a software. As you can see, this is our point P. This is our point P uh, in the this red ball. If I vary the angle, uh, the angle, uh, let's say, uh, the angle theta, which we make with the z-axis, uh, which we make with the z-axis. Let me have a better view. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, let me have a better view of this. Difficult to handle. Difficult to handle. Okay. Let me have a better view. Sorry, I'm new to this software. Okay. Let me vary the angle theta. Let me angle uh, vary the, the. By varying the angle theta, I can move. Uh, I can achieve any height I want. And by varying the angle uh, phi. I can sweep the x y axis x y axis and and the last parameter the radius I can move inside or outside uh, the uh, out inside or outside by wearing these all three parameters all together I can move anywhere in the in the space just by three uh, two angles and one radius okay this was simple These were the these were the three coordinate system, and in the next video I will be discussing one of the main concepts, uh, the differential length, volume, and area, and will definitely uh, this will definitely help us uh, in the computation of concepts which I uh, earlier explained in, in the starting of the video. Uh, see you uh, see you in the next video.